Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's new video. Welcome, and if you're new here, my name is Kevin Pack. I'm a multiple six-figure Amazon seller, and on this channel, we talk things about entrepreneurship, business, Amazon, all that good stuff. Today's a very important video because we're gonna focus on one specific tool that's gonna help you with your Amazon business. Definitely helps me with mine, keeps me on track, keeps you on track. Before we begin any further, of course, I'm going to show you guys my sales so you guys know I'm a current Amazon seller. All right, we'll hit a full refresh on that. Boom, we've done over a thousand. God damn, that's my app time limit telling me I'm on it too much. But yeah, that's crazy. Not even 12 p.m. yet. We're already over a thousand dollars and we've done over ten thousand dollars in the last seven days. Ten thousand dollars in a week. So the business is back on track. It's kind of crazy. So we are moving in the right direction. It's $10,000 in seven days. Can you imagine that? It's pretty insane that I'm making this kind of money. And it, it, it all started from zero basically, right? Also, I keep a time limit on my Seller Central app so I don't continuously refresh all damn day and I kind of limit myself. So gotten better at that, but before it was an addiction. Definitely it was. But now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the main topic of this video. And it's this one very important tool for your Amazon business. So you may ask yourself, Kev, what is this super important tool that you're talking about for the Amazon business? Okay, well, first off, I'd say it's a collection of tools, but we're talking about a tool within this collection. Of course, I'm talking about Helium 10. Helium 10 Platinum plan gives you a bunch of tools that you're going to need for your Amazon business, like product research, Cerebro, Magnet, um, listing optimizing, and then uh, just a bunch of other amazing, amazing tools. I use Helium 10 on a daily basis for my business and it's what helped me keep my business on track. And one of these important, important tools is called Keyword Tracker. What Keyword Tracker does is it allows you to keep track of all the keywords that your product is ranking for and making sure that it stays ranked up there as well. So you can see where your positioning is. So like you can see if you're on page one and if you're like position like 10 or something like that. If you're in position 10, you're likely to be page one versus position 50 is like page like three or four. So it's a powerful tool to make sure that you're actually doing things in the right direction and that you're actually targeting the right keywords and that you're seeing progress in those keywords. Let's hop into my computer and show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are on my computer right now. We are on the main page of Helium 10. And as you know, I mean, we all have these tools here available on Helium 10. We have product research, keyword research, listing optimization, the whole shebang. If you guys want Helium 10, I do have a discount code and it is affiliate link in the description below. So you guys get a discount helps me as well. So we all win in the situation, but this is, I'm telling you, this is my major tool that I use for my Amazon business. Okay. Now we're going to scroll down. We're not going to go through the other uh, tools. We're going to focus on the analytics and look at keyword tracker. Now this is very, very important because what you'll see here is you're going to see, um, it's going to lay out the product, the keywords for the top 10 and the keywords for the top 50 and the total search volume for when you are positioned in the top 10 and the total search volume when you're positioned in the top 50. Very simple to use, you're gonna add a product and then you're going to put your product, either the URL or the ASIN, and then you're gonna put all the keywords that you wanna check your ranking for. So these are, I recommend you're gonna pick your main keyword, the one that has the highest search volume with the most relevancy to your product, and then a bunch of supporting keywords, anything that's gonna be lower than that search volume. So say for example, water bottle has 50,000 searches per month. And then you're gonna pick all the keywords that are below that um, search volume as well. So all the keywords related to your product that have 40,000, 10,000, 5,000, I would say have a minimum of at least 500 search volume per month, okay? So everything's based off per month basically, but put in all the keywords that are specific and relevant to your product, not too broad, not too broad. It needs to be relevant to your product and it has at least 500 searches per month. That's what I recommend you put into tracking for your keywords, put it in, paste it, and it's gonna start tracking, just hit start tracking. It'll take probably an hour for it to come up. Um, this is one of my new products right here. And you can see you can organize it from organic rank high to low. And this is what I really check to see. Um, this is a new product that I literally just launched a few days ago. You can see all of these like plus numbers is growing. Plus two, plus 31, plus 36, plus 46. This is organically growing up in the listing. 
and you can see that I'm almost in the top 10 for a 9,000 search volume keyword, which is amazing. It's fantastic, okay? So it's moving in the right direction. Um, even for this one right here, it has 78,000. I'm already position 35, which is like page um, like three, I think. Uh, and literally this product has just came out just a few days ago. So we'll go into that later. But this is one of my main products and it's organic rank. So you can see I've been tracking this one for a while as well. You can see most of these have over 500. This one is a random one. I need to take this one out. Actually, we'll take this one out. We don't need this. I just want to focus on the ones that have over 500 searches. Um, you can see that uh, I'm a little bit, I'm supposed, I'm usually like in the 70,000s for my product in search volume in the top 10. This one fluctuates between like six and 11 all the time. So sometimes you'll see me with the search volume up here having 60, 70,000 and sometimes it's at this. So just, it just depends, right? But this is a very, very important tool. Why is it important is because when you launch your product, you wanna see what kind of progress you're making. So you can see in the chart here, you can see the data and what the progress is. So we can look at the chart here and you can see how much it changes over time, right? So it, the data changes all throughout these days and the position ranking changes. So when you launch your product, you wanna see like where you start at and then if you're making progress and making yourself closer to the number zero, okay? Zero, you're not gonna rank zero, but you wanna rank number one, right? Closest to number one as possible. So when you launch your product, it's important to use Keyword Tracker with it so you can see the positioning of your main keyword and other supporting keywords to see that you're getting visibility, that you're getting seen by customers. Because if you're not being seen by customers, then you're not gonna be able to convert sales. And that's the main thing. So you can't just put up a product and expect sales to happen. You need to be seen to be able to convert. So that's the whole thing. So, and you can use this to kind of track like, okay, if you have uh, slow sales in the last like five, six days, you're gonna go back into your keyword tracker and see, oh, I'm not actually being shown for my main keyword. I'm actually on like position 20 when I'm normally on position five. So what does that mean? It's time to crank up the advertising for that keyword so you're back into position five. So that's how it works. And that's why a keyword tracker is so, so important is because it makes you uh, keep track of everything, regulate everything and make justifiable changes based off of where your position is. So based off of this, you can decide whether you need to lower your campaigns or increase your campaigns for certain keywords. So super, super important and it keeps you on your toes. Make sure that your product is gonna stay getting sales. So that's a quick video tutorial for Keyword Track for Helium 10. I really, really recommend you guys use this, especially if you already have a product, you need to use this to make sure that you're keeping track of your keywords to maintain exposure for your product okay so if this was very helpful like the video subscribe for more content man because you know that helps your boy out if you want to learn everything that i teach and what i've done for my business go ahead apply for the mentorship down below where i teach you literally everything i've done and everything i've learned and i continue to update the course as time goes on because things are always changing on amazon so Peep game at that, check that out. Of course, Helium 10 affiliate link down below if you want to get uh, Helium 10 for a discount. And I think that's all my pitches for the day. So thank you so much for watching. As always, go make that money. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.